Purple by you. It's your boy. I'm a pro. Can I make my walking go? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 3 video. It's your boy Vortex Chaos and today we are going to be building Well the Napalm Nova from the Hoonigan Car Pack Um reason I have this I will get into that later Um some of you might already well understand what's going on here, but for those who don't I'll explain it in a bit Uh now over YouTube. I don't think I've actually seen a build like a drift build on this car. I know Zerosian done a drag build because I was, well, I joined in on that video. Um, but like, I haven't seen a drift build on this thing. I've seen the Escort, the Hunicorn doing Gymkhana. I've seen the Twerk Stallion drifting, obviously. And yeah, I haven't really seen this or the Gasser built into drift cars. So, I mean, first off, we're going to do this and then later on. In the week, I'm going to be doing a... What is it? A drift build on the Twerk Stallion RX-7, which where I'll get Zerosian to join in. I mean, not as a collaboration, because I don't have a mic yet. But as a, like, gameplay kind of video, if that makes sense. Like, Friday's video is going to be more gameplay-oriented for those... Hopefully that doesn't matter too much. But, yeah, I'll get more into that later. Let's get into this. Alright, so... Uh, not gonna do that. I think for the sake of the build, I might go Twin Turbo. Uh, no, maybe. Should I? I don't know. I'm gonna go Supercharger. See what happens. Uh, front, no. How does it look? No. And then this is the stupid little lip thing that I have, and then... I mean, I would've loved to replace it for, like, a normal hood. But you can't. It's kind of just those options. And I don't like either of them. So I'm just going to stick to this. Um, I was hoping that you could just swap back the that one for like a stock one. Like a stock kind of front bar or hood. But you can't, can't do anything about that. Okay. So none of that. I feel like we should be all good in tire size honestly. Uh, 295s on the rear. That's, that's massive. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the tire size. This is probably gonna be the first car for me to actually do that in, because I never do that. As for rims, I'll get back onto you on that one. I think I might go for these ones. Or these ones. I think I'm gonna go for these ones. They're a little more drift orientated, if that makes sense. Well, compared to the other ones, at least. Uh, change these to. So I'm gonna keep them 16s. I don't want them too big. Because then they'll look weird on a muscle car. Uh, max all of this out. Uh, apologies if I still do sound a little weird during this video. I am still a little sick from, well, last week, I guess. Rally Springs. And, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping to get over this soon. I have yet to take any kind of tablet or medicine, which is fine by me. I want to stay that way. As for horsepower wise, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put the supercharger in. I think I might just leave it at that. 798 horsepower. Can I try and squeeze out two more? Just, just, no. Uh, two more horsepower. I don't want to add any of either of these two because they just add a lot of weight. For the sake of two horsepower, and it's not worth the seven pounds that it adds on, honestly. That's, that's why I never really touch the oil and cooling anymore. Uh, screw it, we'll go 801. It's probably gonna kill my OCD, but should be alright. Uh, so that's the car built. Pretty much stock tires, 800 horsepower. Hoping that, well, because of the Nova, I do know very well that this thing's very good for racing. Uh, for those who don't play Forza much, won't understand that, but this thing is quite good for drifting. Not drifting, racing. Like when it comes to that kind of grippy, high horsepower, low class kind of racing. Even like mid class, like this thing is just amazing. I'm just gonna stiffen this car up a bit though, because it's really soft. Uh, it's probably just because of the drag tune on it, honestly. I'm excited to see how this thing looks slammed, because it, it's dropped quite far. Uh, stiffen this up. This is pretty much what I do on a basic tune, if I'm honest. Like, normally I would go more in depth. For this one, I'm not. Put them on 100. And there we go! This thing is sitting pretty. Um, not much really I can add to that, honestly. I mean, yeah, obviously a muscle car, you don't want it to be sitting flush. Like, if anything, you want it to be slightly tucked. 
Like, that's just my preference on muscle cars. Like, I enjoy having this kind of look. Like, yeah, that's that's really it. Uh, do I want to get rid of the design, though? Because I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, I like that quite a lot, actually. I'm going to go for that right there. Uh, yeah, obviously it's a little weird not seeing the design on it, but honestly for a drift car, I prefer it like this. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, this is probably why I would have loved to have just a stock hood and then like a proper rear trunk. Because for those who don't know, uh, the trunk on this car is a little weird. Uh, it doesn't actually close fully, so it's like bungee corded or some shit on. Uh, let me just show it off real quick. God, this actually looks amazing. Actually, I don't mind the hood now. But like, here's the trunk. That That's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Like the little cord, the camera cord. But yeah, I mean, besides that, it's 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 nice. Um, Alright, let's see how this thing goes. It's already started off pretty well, just by the... Ooh, this thing's really nice. Keep in mind, this is with stock tires, by the way. That, uh, that went wrong. Anyways, the way and how about... So I actually got this car in the Hoonigan car pack. I pre-ordered Forza 7. Um, am I happy about it? Yeah, I am, I guess. Because, well, now i got... A new game coming soon to the channel, which I'm happy about, obviously. Um, I might still pick up... Actually, no, I doubt it, because i got to save up for money now, guys. So I don't think there's going to be another... Uh, there might not be, at least. Depending on what comes out, games with gold. But for now, all backwards compatible. I swear to God, if Forza 4 comes out backwards compatible, this is going to be probably the best deal. But, like, don't really... Oh, God, I was really close. Uh, but at the moment, God of Wars 7 is coming out, for me at least, September 29 at midnight, midnight release. So, I'm probably going to start recording a lot of videos around that time, like September. Well, that's the school holidays for us, like so term 3 to term 4 holidays for us. So, I'm more than happy about that. Oh, make it... Lol jokes. We're going this way. Um, now, yeah, I got Forza 7, I'm happy about it though. Yes, it's, it's, it's a bummer that no Toyota. Ah, uh, that means no 86, no Supra, no Celicas, nothing like that. I have already touched base on that in my future of car games, I think, video. I'm pretty sure. But like, yeah, that's a little disappointing, but nothing I can do about it, honestly. Whoa, God, okay. And, yeah. Uh, what was I talking about earlier that I said I was going to get into later on? Something about- Oh, yeah. Uh, still no mic, therefore no collaboration, still. I mean, obviously I can have gameplay of Zerosian here, but I won't be able to speak during that because we'll probably be, I don't know, talking. Like, not on Xbox, though, because we can't really. No mic, no, like, can't do anything about that. Besides get a new mic, but, like, at the moment I'm really too interested in getting a new mic. Uh, at least for now, that is. I might get one soon. Might go to, like, cash converters or, like, a reject shop or some shit like that. I don't know. Or a thrift shop. Might find something there. I don't know. That worked really well, except I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go straight. Woo! Damn, this video has carried out for quite a long time now. This thing is, by the way, really good for drifting. God damn. I mean, you'd expect it from a muscle car, so, like, fair enough. Like, this is probably one of the better drift cars I've ever made. If not the best drift car I've ever made. The fourth gear, look, there's just, even in the rain, like, it, you don't lose traction. You know exactly what the car's gonna do, you know, it's not gonna spin out unless you, like, properly do a 360 on purpose. Like, it's got enough torque to take you through all these sweeper corners. Obviously, granted, you have the skill and speed to actually, like, continue with the, the corners, but, like, like, not like that, where, like, you strained up halfway through. That was stupid and a mistake by me, but, like, yeah. There we go. See? Little tap. T-junction. Oh, wheel spin. What am I gonna get? 
Will I actually win the Toronto Horizon Edition? Find out on the... No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, typical Forza. Love it. Okay. Anyways, that's going to do it all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you guys didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you are new. Check out the other members of Evolution Squad if you haven't already. And yeah, uh, let's hope future of this channel goes well on Forza 7. Uh, probably, I hope it goes better than it did on this game at least. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all for me. And peace out.